you know, the thing about these water systems that is, is most important is they don't necessarily have to be municipally operated. Um, we have a, a certain cultural thing that the government's supposed to do certain things for us. And uh, I grew up downriver uh, near Wyandotte, and uh, you know, Wyandotte had a phone system up until the 70s. And uh, there are towns that believe that you have to have the city employees pick up the trash instead of having private vendors. So there's different ways to do things. And so the water system I like to point out is the one in Grattan in Michigan. It's the uh, um, um, Bella, Lake Bella Vista system, and it's entirely private. Uh, it's member participation, and it's incredibly efficient, it's inexpensive, and they have replacement regimens. There's a whole set of uh, ideas that I think need to be implemented to create a more sustainable water system in Michigan. Um, you know, in the spring, we all have too much water, and that's because we've created no place for the water to go. It's all runoff. And then we get to the summer and everybody wants to water their lawn. And these systems are left often at the whim of taxpayer of the moment. And when we went through the, the Great Recession here, there was never any money in the budgets to fix all these infrastructures. So I want to move back to a more sustainable model where things get repaired on a schedule as they should, as any business would. And public systems just don't operate that way.